What's up guys, Doll Matter here, and today we're going to be reacting to another fat electrician video. So this one is something I didn't even know was a thing. I mean, I guess it kind of makes sense that it's a thing, but I didn't realize it's a holiday. I don't even know if it's a holiday or if it's just kind of a joke name for the video, but Marine Corps birthday, the most underrated American holiday. Uh, so yeah, I guess that's a thing. Anyway, link to the original video down below and let's learn something about the Marine Corps birthday. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do a special video for the Marine Corps birthday. We're gonna go over some of my favorite Marine quotes, some of my favorite Marine lore. It's gonna be great. And for those of you that don't know, the Marine Corps birthday is the greatest American holiday that most people don't know about. And once you do know about it, it becomes the groundhog for the entire holiday season. As soon as all your Marine buddies start posting memes talking about Semper Fi and how drunk they're gonna get at the ball, you know that the rest of the holiday season is upon you. It's only a matter of- Okay, I knew about the Marine Corps ball. I knew that was a thing, because I remember I want to, it was uh, 2017, 2018, somewhere around there. There was the one guy who was going to the Marine Corps ball and he posted the meme and he got the, I can't remember what celebrity chick it was, but he, he posted the meme and went viral. She ended up going to the Marine Corps ball with him. I can't remember who the celebrity girl was. Uh, fuck. If somebody remembers that, let, comment down below. I'm trying to figure, remember who it was time until you get to start reading newspaper articles about how somebody got trampled to death for a one dollar toaster on black friday <laughs> and then we all come together on thanksgiving to do something that americans very seldom do overeat and then december starts that <laughs> wonderful wonderful time of year where every single store in america plays mariah carey all i want for christmas is you on a loop and let me tell you it will never ever get old or annoying or redundant <laughs> or annoying oh my god to be fair mariah carey hot as fuck but we have a guy at work that just loves Christmas music, and I I am not joking. Come to, like, we have uh, a computer at work that you play music. People just randomly throw songs on throughout the day. Come, like, July, August, he starts fucking playing Christmas music. Like, he'll just slowly filter it in there, and then, oh, my God, it's it drives me fucking nuts. I blame Nick Cannon. Anyways, then we're going to have Christmas, then we're going to have New Year's, and then we all get to get the date wrong every time we write it down for the next three months while we quietly reflect on how many years it's been since we graduated from high school. What I'm trying to tell you is you owe it to yourself to go drinking with the Marines on the Marine Corps birthday before this shit show of a holiday season starts. Because if you've never been, drinking with the Marines is a phenomenal experience. The fucking jar really, it's a two-step process. Step one, show up. Step two, proceed to do whatever the fuck you want. Because guess what? <laughs> if anything goes down, you've got a horde of Marines. Who's going to stop you? I'll tell you who's not going to stop you, the cops. Because when they show up, one of them is a Marine. And they're not about to arrest a Marine or a Marine's buddy on the Marine Corps birthday. At worst, he's going to tell you to have a good rest of your night. At best, he's there to help you hide the body, because that's just how Marines get down. <laughs> so if you've never been drinking with the Marines, please... Please do it. And I know what you're thinking. What if I don't have any Marine friends? That's fine. Just go to the bar. They'll be there. How are you going to identify said Marines? You don't have to. Believe me. You're going to figure it out pretty quick. They'll tell you. I love them, but they are the CrossFit of the military branches. They are not about to let you think. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking gold. They served in any other branch but the United States Marine Corps. Now, why is the Marine Corps birthday such a big deal? I'm kind of a big deal. Well, it's because the Marines are kind of a big deal. I don't know where to start with this, so we're just going to start from the beginning. November 10th, 1775. Yeah, that's before 1776. The Marine Corps is older than the United States of America. They were founded in Tun Tavern, a bar. The Marine Corps was founded <laughs> in a bar. I, you can't make that up. Just setting a tone right out of the gate. Speaking of setting a tone, pretty much every time the Marine Corps gets let off its leash, they come back with some new terrifying nickname that the enemy gave them. And that proud tradition started in World War I at the Battle of Bella Wood. If you don't know, super short, oversimplified version of history the germans were marching through france towards paris the marine corps shows up and is like nah they're able to push back this is the devil dogs isn't it? this is where they have the name devil dogs the germans once with the help of the army and the french and then the french begged the marines to retreat back to a more fortified position with them to which the marine corps leadership responds and i quote retreat we just got here. They then proceed yeah. to don their gas mask and fix their bayonets as they go into one of the bloodiest battles America has ever fought. And the Marines do it so aggressively that the Germans begin to call them the Devil Dogs, a moniker <laughs> that no one that has ever fought them since has disagreed with. Then we fast forward to World War II. World War II, everybody talks about Iwo Jima, and they should. Very poetic, very heroic, very romantic when they raise the flag. But my personal favorite Marine story from World War II is the Battle of Tarawa. If you don't know, Tarawa Atoll is the most fortified island the Marines have ever landed on. The Japanese add Admiral in charge of defending Tarawa is quoted as saying a million men couldn't take Tarawa in a hundred years to which the Marine Corps said hold my beer as 4,000 Marines proceeded to take it in three days <laughs> yeah <laughs> 
only one Japanese officer. Oh, man. I, I, I don't know if Buddy lived through the war, but I bet you he never lived that quote down actually survived that battle and in his journal he described it as this we could see the american landing crafts coming towards us like dozens of spiders on the surface of the water when one of my men exclaimed the gods of death have come i'm trying to paint the picture that they built quite the reputation for themselves a reputation so intimidating that during the gulf war desert storm whatever you prefer to call it the iraq military was scared of the marines because they actually believed that to become an american marine you had to murder a member of your family at basic training now that obviously <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. How did the, like, we're talking about, I guess they probably didn't have internet over there at that point, but, like, we're talking about like, the age of the internet. How the, like, it always blows my mind with the rumors like that to start. Like, I mean, I guess, you know, you're talking about fucking the middle of the desert, but fuck me, that's funny is not true by any stretch of the imagination but i think it speaks volumes that an entire military actually believed it the marine corps merely existing is a form of psychological warfare and that's just when they're merely existing they're way scarier when they're actually doing their job like for everybody including their own chain of command for example during the battle of fallujah the marines got so many headshots that the united states military had to launch an internal investigation because they were concerned that the marines may have been executing people at point blank they weren't they were just out there giving long-range lobotomies at a rate that <laughs> the American government lobotomies. didn't know was possible. Which adds even more to the psychological warfare aspect. I mean, how would you feel if you had to go up against a military force that you knew was under investigation for getting... Man, you know what I've always wondered? I, I, I wonder, maybe there'll be a study done of this at some point, although I guess it would be hard to do the study, but, like, kids that grow up on, like, all these, like, first-person shooter-type games, where they've been playing them from when they're, like, four years old, I wonder if their aim is better than the aim of people back in the day. I guess the one, you know, you have the advantage of always playing these games, being able to play them hours and hours a day, not having to worry about ammunition. But a lot less people actually use guns in their day-to-day -day lives now than they would have, like, you know, 50 or 100 years ago when most people lived rural lives. So, I, I, it, again, it would be hard. It would be so hard to do this study, but, like, I, I want to know, like, has AIM improved or gotten worse with video games? That'd be an interesting study to do. I guess you had to worry about the kids trying to 360 no-scope somebody, though, which probably wouldn't work so well. Too many headshots. I'm going to go out on a limb and say not great. And that is truly intimidation at its finest because everybody knows the most advanced militaries in the world offer their men body armor. Ain't nobody giving their guys face armor. The Marines <laughs> subtly saying, I don't care how big your military budget is, you can still get it. I think Eleanor Roosevelt said it best when she said, and I quote, the Marines I have seen around the world have the cleanest bodies and the filthiest minds, the highest morale and the lowest morals of any group of animals I have ever seen. Thank God for the United States Marine Corps. And <laughs> is that actually a quote from her? That's fucking great. <laughs> quote and while i wasn't there i'm willing to bet of the marines that heard it at least one of them leaned over to his buddy and said i'd hit that in conclusion the point <laughs> i'm trying to make to you is marines make great friends and horrible enemies and i would strongly recommend helping them celebrate their birthday so yeah go check out my website buy some merch quack bang out i'm gonna go drink with the marines okay bye you know, drink with the marines uh man that's fucking great i want to, is that eleanor rosa uh, eleanor roosevelt quote an actual quote or is that apocryphal because like that Man, if that's a real quote, that is fucking hilarious. That is top tier. But anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.